What's up everybody? Lucas and Beth here from Our Liberty House. Quick little Sunday project. Another day in the garden. We are going to be harvesting compost. We let the one side cook for about four months. It's over there. And now it's time to run it through the sifter. Should be pretty easy and get some awesome compost out of it. Let's go. You've seen in our other videos but we run a two bin system uh, the side we're harvesting today uh, has been going since about august and we put it to bed and we let it cook down we've mixed it kept it moist and let it cook down and then this is our active side that we've been actively putting things into since august and uh, once we harvest this side we'll uh, let this one cook down and start adding to the other it's a really good effective system to have two bins because you can let one completely cook down while you add to the other one. Take the front off here. Ooh, compost. So you can see we've got a lot of uncomposted stuff in here and that's why we use the sifter but something we're super excited about for the next bin is we bought a shredder so hopefully we won't have to sift as much large chunks out you want to say something about the sifter yes all right super basic sifter here two by fours and chicken wire that's it just placed right over the wheelbarrow we'll start shoveling everything on top of it and sifting it through uh, yeah. Black gold right here. I think some people harvest compost without a sifter, but using a sifter is way easier. Especially if you don't have stuff that's completely composted down. Um, if your pile didn't get hot enough or you didn't tend to it enough, um, you just use this easy sifter. Dump it over. Mm -hmm. So this compost, really good, uh, dark, black, gold. <laughs> Uh, but you'll see there's, there is some stuff that's not completely broken down. This isn't going to be like a commercial finished compost you're going to get at a nursery. But this stuff will continue to break down uh, in your garden beds and it will actually help retain water. You know, like kind of like a soil building conditioner as well as it continues to break down um, some of this bigger stuff. So don't worry about it if you have a little bit of chunky stuff. You just want to get rid of any of the really large sticks. compost as topsoil to our existing beds. Um, what that does is it just gives and feeds the uh, plants that we have in there throughout the season. Uh, a lot of people might store this for their spring garden and things like that, but with the amount of garden beds that we have uh, and the settling that occurs just throughout the season, we tend to just add the, heart, the compost directly to our beds and use it right away. So that's what I'm going to do here.
So this is our garlic bed. We have two different types of garlic growing currently. And if you're doing this with existing plants already, just obviously want to take care to not uh, disturb. Oh, there's a big old grub in there. That's gross. i kill that later. Um, to disturb the existing plants. <laughs> grubs they're super disgusting uh we it's what november what, december, it's december. <laughs> um and these are actually beetles uh in their lar larva stage i believe um totally normal to find them especially kind of buried in the dirt um is i don't think hibernating is the right word but that's where they go um to overwinter until the spring so this might be like a japanese beetle or any other kind of beetle, but they're typically not good for the garden. So when you find them, you just want to make sure to, here's another one, to get rid of them or feed them to the birds or if you have chickens, chickens will love these. All right, so we uh, got the one wheelbarrow load done and are gonna start working on the second. This is really what we're hoping to avoid by buying that chipper shredder. Um, now, like pretty much with all of our rose cuttings, sunflowers, like all of our cuttings, we let them dry a few days and we just shove them through that shredder and into the compost. And it's going to give Best it investment. more surface area uh, to break down and avoid having to sift it like this in the future. So second full wheelbarrow done and pretty much cleaned out. Uh, you don't really need to worry about scraping it clean. Like I said, having a little bit of compost in there um, still has the microbes and that microbial growth. So when you start a new pile, um, it'll help break it down quicker. And now this pile will be going to sleep. We'll stir it up really good every few days to at least once a week and, and keep it moist and hopefully in four months we have a giant pile of compost. Good stuff. 
All right, guys, so we're done sifting the one side. We got a nice batch of perfect garden black gold here. Beth's gonna finish spreading that out and I'm going to prep the second bed to start cooking down. Just gonna spray it down with some water. Uh, we want it kind of moist and then using our pitchfork, just kind of spread it, move it around. And we'll do that about once a week at a minimum. And it's gonna start raining here so we really don't have to wet it down but we want to mix it about once a week and super easy passive four months we'll have another load of compost just in time for spring planting thanks for watching uh check out our next videos on day in the garden bye hey.